everybody, and welcome to Wipeout. You're very chipper today. Ah, uh, there's just something about this game that makes me happy to be alive, Johnny. Let's check out our qualifier. Things are gonna really start heating up on our course. This is the door knock. Everybody's favorite giant hammer behind every door. Say hello to our old friend, the big ball. And there is nothing left to say, except thank you. This is the screwdriver. Stay on the rotating log or end up on a tool. Say hello to the copycat. Just keep on doing what you're doing. Unless, of course, what you're doing is wrong. Let's see what Jill Wagner's up to down on the course. Hey, guys, I'm here with contestant number one, who's hoping one really is the loneliest number. Alone in the winner's circle. Jump up when you're ready to begin. Contestant number one clocks in with a time that's not bad, but not good. Way to strive for mediocrity, number one. At the end of the qualifier, here are the next up, the Eliminator. And now let's have a look at our Eliminator. Come on, it's easy. From up here, I mean. Just like baseball, Bruise Ball has four bases. Contestants must pass each base and make it to home plate in order to win. They must run down the first base line, pass the mound, and make it to first base. All the while, though, they have to avoid the swinging bruise ball bats. Once safely on the base, they'll have to make it to second along our bouncing base path. To get to third, they'll have to take a walk down the slide walk. And to score a run, they have to dive head first and touch home plate. Let's go to the third member of our team, Jill Wagner, who's with the first player. When you're ready to start, jump. And the 
sweeper arm's really taking it to him. Next time, might I suggest running away? He is knocked out by the sweeper arm. Knocked out, knocked over, knocked under. Take the pick, Johnny. It's the dreaded sweeper arm. I dread it too. That's why I'm up here, not down there. He is knocked out by the sweeper arm. Knocked out, knocked over, knocked under. Take your pick, Johnny. And he gets crushed by a water balloon. I can't say I'm crushed about it. I enjoyed it. And he gets hit by a balloon. It's not your mama's water fight. gets the dreaded sweeper on. I dread it too. That's why I'm up here and not down there. Ooh, he takes a big hit from the sweeper arm. You know, the sweeper arm really is one of my favorite things. Right up there with whiskers on kittens. And contestant number one finishes with an amazing time. He is really sucking win now, though. Here's where we stand. The wipeout zone is coming up after the break. Let's check out what our contestants will be looking at with our wipeout zone. Well, what I'll hopefully be looking at is jaw-dropping epic wipeouts. This is the screwdriver. Stay on the rotating log or end up on a tool. And then it's on to the triple threat. Three platforms of sweeper trees trying to send you for a swim. This is the crankshaft. All those arms aren't for hugging, Johnny. Welcome to the blenderizer. May cause dizziness and vomiting. Adding to today's carnival is the spin out. You must be this tall to ride this ride. Let's go to the third member of our team, Jill Wagner, who's with the first player. When you're ready to start, jump. John. Yep, the sweeper arm wasn't beating around the bush with that one. One more ring, and the sweeper arm's really taking it to him. Next time, might I suggest running away? And here's another ring grab, John. Man, this contestant's got the eye of the tiger and the hands of a wide receiver. Number one turns in a stellar time. You're number one! All the players are done, so let's check out our winner. I'm here with contestant number one who just blew away the competition. It was the clash of the titans today, Johnny. Yeah, I'm just glad they didn't tighten them more than necessary. For John Anderson and Jill Wagner, I'm John Henson saying good night and big balls.